So Jeanette Smith was here. Uh, she came out to see what we do here in Hamilton and some of the unique programs that we have to offer. I was quite taken back with Jeanette's knowledge already of what paramedics do and the service that they provide. She was able to recognize some of the unique things that we're doing that some of the places she's been and experience she have aren't doing. So that was kind of special to see her really touched and engaged with what we're doing in the community. So today I had the great opportunity of coming out with Hamilton Paramedic Service. I got to meet some of the leadership team and uh, I've been out on the road seeing all the different aspects of the program. Well, we started off at the Hamilton General Hospital uh, up in the lab, seeing what happens when our paramedics have patients that fit certain criteria and go immediately and bypass ER and go up and get the interventions and quite frankly save their lives. They provide interventionalist cardiac care to patients in the community that we're bringing directly to the cath lab or right into the operating room. So through these programs, we're able to get people right into the operating room, get them the cardiac care that they need. And this is a preventative piece that allows them to be discharged quicker. They're going back into the community with a healthier heart than they would of 10 or 15 years ago. And it's a great partnership. Can you take your blood pressure off? Paramedicine has evolved into public programming, community paramedic programs that are designed to keep people out of the hospital and get them resources at home that we're able to keep them there and take a little bit of stress off the hospitals, but as well keep them in their homes with their families and where they're comfortable, let them thrive there as opposed to in the hospital. I thought I knew about community paramedicine programs, but to see the uh, remote monitoring they're doing and what a difference it's making in people's lives. So here we have two elderly individuals, you know, and they're 90 and they're 91, and they're getting to stay in their home which is the best place for them. They are able to provide amazing, sensational service to the community with the resources that they're given. Jeanette got to see kind of, you know, the other side where it's not the hustle and bustle and the emergency kind of situation, but how a, a paramedic is able to interact on that level. It's not a client-patient interaction. These paramedics actually really, really care about these people. And we could see when we were there that they really enjoyed Joe being there and Joe's carrying around dog treats for their dog and that sort of thing. He said, I, I see that you get it. And he said, that makes me want to work harder. And that means so much to me. He is on the front line every day working so hard for his clients. And he just needed to know that the people in head office at the top of the organization have the same goals that we're trying to get. And that's the best service to the public. And I can do that by making sure our staff on the front lines and in management have the tools, the supports, the technology, the resources they need to do their job. Sean. Sean, hi, nice to meet you. And lastly, I'm here at Station 30. This is the logistics center for all the paramedic services. I'm very impressed on what they're doing because they're in a very small footprint for what they have to do for the entire city of Hamilton. I'm pretty impressed that they make that happen. And the passion that uh, our, our paramedics have for their work was huge. It was extremely rewarding. Reminds me the important role I play in terms of advocating to the province, um, to the federal government, and how we put our reports forward to council about the resources that paramedics need. So if they're under-resourced, it all backs up into our paramedics. And now I have stories I can tell. Statistics are one thing and reports are one thing, but when I'm talking to people, I can describe things because I've seen them myself. And people won't remember statistics, but they'll remember a story.